<sighs> this is a little melee. Lady of the room. And yes, you just saw some like, pajama bottoms. Yes, I wear pajama bottoms. That's why I'm making my videos. Now you know my secret. Carry on. Anyways. I wanted to say a few things. You guys are amazing. And also, I want to say hey, for the people who said happy birthday, hey, the one person who came to my happy birthday video, oh, I want to say thank you to them. And it was very appreciative for that. And that's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing in this video. Well, you're going to start seeing a series of different videos where I'm going to be talking about just certain things about myself, certain things I want to get off my chest, as not like I don't have enough on it. What can I say? It's the only joke a deep chested woman can make about someone and, uh, yeah. But anyways, I want to get it off of my chest. Sorry, flies. So then you can see them, you go fatty too. Probably. Anyways, anyways, as I was saying about that, reason. This one is a personal one. See, there's really no way to really prove it, so just believe me when I say it. I'm adopted. Okay? I am adopted. Uh, if the powers that may be would allow me to show pictures, I would. But I'm not going to. Um, I don't want to go into too much about the story other than when I was born, I was a very, 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 very sick child. Um, I'm still slightly sickly, but getting better. So don't try messing with me, mister. But at the same time, I'm not the most well person. I am on a lot of medications. I've gotten fights over my life and kicked ass. That's because I do give people stares. You may not be able to see it through the camera, but mm-hmm, yeah. Back up, back off, sucker. Not sucka, but sucka. It's a nastier sound and sounds like the other word that I'm not allowed to say here. But anyways, as as she said, as if she's never used the F word here. But anyways, that's really all I gotta say. Um I'm proud to be adopted, and mostly because I guess it's always been a very shameful thing for a person to be adopted, um, mostly because I guess you've heard of a whole lot of stories where people have been adopted. Um, and they've been beaten, bruised, and that stuff, and never happened to me. But I will still say, it strikes a chord. Because, I will say, I am thankful that neither of my, my parental figures have ever done such a thing. And I am proud that they, will ne they never did. And I am glad they never will. Yeah. And also... 
that I'm loved and in a family that see thinks the world of me and continues to. So, I also want this video to go out to people and I don't want to brag too much because I know there are people out there who do get adopted and are still part of those families and well I'm sorry for your pain and your stuff like that and I you know I swear whenever I read Harry Potter I think about people like that who are in those kinds of families and you know the sad thing is that's their biological family and thankfully <laughs> I mean it's good that he had a home and a family God knows, could have done better. Could have done a whole lot better than the Dursleys. And yes, I'm talking about Harry Potter, so yes. I believe he could. I think one part of the film, I did want the Dursleys to drown. I really did. That I found that when I was reading the book, I wanted, I wanted Vernon to be beaten because of how they would treat Harry. But I also understand it as being a, you know, we're supposed to feel sorry for Harry. We're supposed to feel miserable for him. The abuse is just way too much and a lot for me to handle. Cause it's like, I cannot understand people who do that. And, you know, the sad thing is, even though he's not really an immediate member of the family, and it wouldn't be like he'd be treated that way, but at the same time, hey, this is his own biological family, and they treated him badly. Hey, and thankfully, hey, that would never happen to me, and I'm thankful it never did. Um, back to what I was saying, that being adopted is a um, had a very dark concept to it. I also love lots of characters that are adopted and that are not in families that treated them well. That they told people, hey, I'm not taking it anymore. We're going to do things my way or the highway attitude. And I applaud them every single time they do it. Um, one would probably be, and this doesn't exactly apply to Annie, I guess. Because I guess the reason why I like her is, well, she's a redhead. And you know how much I like redheads. I will go into that later, but, oh yeah, I I was going to do a redhead pry thing, wasn't I? But first I have a list of reasons why I like them, and all that stuff. And you'll know. Anyways, I tend to like red, I tend to like this character, Annie. Okay. And you probably heard the play and all that stuff. <laughs> I liked it because, well, I probably was very hard to get a female red-headed girl to be adopted. Because a lot of times, you know, stereotypes with redheads, ridiculous stereotypes, absolutely stupid. And Except I think at least the fiery redhead thing was okay. However, uh, redheads have no souls. You know, that was only funny in South Park, and that was because, well, albeit, it was still, but it was so funny. <laughs> kind of. Like, no, I don't like making fun of redheads, but I do see the comedy of making fun of the concept of, okay, well, redheads have no souls then they don't have to worry about going to hell. You know, that joke. And I can't really make it because, well, as you see, clearly I'm not a redhead, or have that pasty white skin that is supposed to be attributed with them. But at the same time, I find it to be a daring, beautiful color for hair because it's not an average hair color. It is not attractive in men by some reason, and I think it's ridiculous. Just like long hair. I think long hair is wonderful. Well, I admit. I'll go into my ideas of what I find attractive in the average male, but not right now. Uh, you know, 
Oh yeah. Yeah, Kaylid. Yeah, I I got him off a bulldog yesterday. Yeah, I that that that's how we do it down here. Yeah, that, that's how we do it in the farm field. Hell, we fetch our own dentures off our dogs. Hell, and oh, and of course, I know. Red Fox winning, why they get pissed off at me for saying it, but, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna say it. I don't really want to piss off anyone who could be a redneck. <laughs> that's, you know, I can't make those jokes for them. They can make those jokes for themselves. Uh, and that's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> Anyways. This is... Evelyn O'Malley. Lady of the Realm, say, follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and good night. Wow, uh,